it smells amazing. Ah, he lives. I didn't think we were going to get you out of bed today. It's a Saturday, Elizabeth. I have nothing to get up for. Well, that's where you're wrong, my friend, because Netflix has just released the newest season of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I have a feeling that we're both going to want to sit down and watch it. Don't you? Wait, I didn't realise we were getting a new season so soon. Neither did I. I can't keep up. What are you baking? Anything good? Millionaire shortbreads. Hang on. You only make millionaire shortbreads when you're stressed out, so what's happening? I saw these on my run this morning. Ugh, oh, Elizabeth. Another missing persons poster? It's like four in the past week. The posters are everywhere. Wow, it's almost as if there are bad people out there in the world. Dom, I'm serious. How long have we lived in this town? Uh, pretty much our entire lives. Exactly. And in all that time, how many missing persons posters have you seen? Roughly. Mm, well... Exactly. There's nothing bad ever happened here. Now, flash forward 20 years or so, and what do we get? People going missing. Look, I get you're worried, but it's probably just a coincidence, isn't it? Honestly... Don't you sometimes think there's more to life than just coincidence? Honestly, no, because then I'd have a nervous breakdown. Now turn on that TV and let's watch some shady ladies. Did you just roll your eyes at me? No. Yes, you did. I saw you. Like, maybe a little? I didn't realise you found me so annoying. Remind me to stay in bed next time. Oh, Dom, I'm kidding. I just wanted to discuss it. Mainly for peace of mind. Look, I get it. You lost your mum in a bad way, and you want to help others the way that no one helped you. But you can't be this, like, saviour to people. It's not how it works. Well, maybe it should be. Yeah, and maybe you shouldn't take the missing person posters down. It kind of defeats their purpose. There's hundreds of them around anyway, and they're all over social media. Besides, I have to study them in case I'm missing something. A clue, a link... A connection. I think your mum would be proud of you, but sometimes you've just got to let the police do their thing, you know? You don't owe these people anything, but I'm telling you, it's just a few hiccups, a bump in the road. Can't be that bad. You said it yourself, we live in the town where nothing bad ever happens. Look like a meteor. I think it crashed in the woods over the road. Come on, we're going. Are you joking? No, something just fell out of the sky. People could be hurt. Oh, don't try making yourself sound all heroic. You're just nosy. And you aren't. I have three very important words for you, Elizabeth Baker. RuPaul's drag race. You coming? You can't leave your baking. They need to cool down anyway. Oven's off. It'll be fine. Come on. Ugh. I think it fell somewhere near here. Whoa. What the hell is that thing? I thought it was going to be a rock, but it's metal. Can you stand back a bit, Elizabeth? It's on fire, in case you haven't noticed. I'm calling the police. I'm not an expert, but I don't think the police are going to know what to do with something that just fell out of the sky. Well, they'd do a better job than me and you, wouldn't they? Elizabeth. I know. What is that? It's a... Uh... It's a rhino. Dom, it's a great big bloody rhino.
me. We were just making sure everything was okay. Don't hurt me. We were just making sure everything was okay. Language assimilated. Designated Earth English. You will be catalogued. Human. I was the last time I checked, yeah. Give me your hand. Now you, little male. Rude. You will be catalogued. Human. Right, so what's happening exactly, Elizabeth? I have no idea. All humans must vacate the area. This vicinity is deemed unsafe. Vicinity? Unsafe? But it, it's just a wood. Dom, don't antagonise the rhino. I am not rhino. I am Jadoon. My rank is captain. My name is Croto. Croto. Well, nice to meet you, I guess. Um, I'm Elizabeth. That's Dom. Could have given it fake names. Oh, of course, because that would have solved all of our problems. Humans must leave the vicinity. Yeah, we get that. But why? Prisoner has escaped Jadun custody. I hunt prisoner known as Julian Derange. Did the rhino just say prisoner has escaped? Not rhino. Jadun. So, if you're after an escaped prisoner, that would make you... Police. Just as I was about to call the police, this guy shows up. Today's really kicking me up the butt. Julian Derange must be executed. Julian Derange? He must be pretty good to do a successful prison break. And even scarier for them to send you. Julian Derange is longest serving inmate. Arrested for making entire worlds insane. Must find, must execute. Elizabeth, tell me honestly, am I still asleep? <laughs> you wish. This is happening right now, mate. Ow! Why'd you pinch me? Just so you were aware. Yeah, but that really hurt. Humans waste to do time. Must find prisoner. Oi, watch it. Right, that's it. We've seen what it was. Time to go home. Are you serious, Dom? This is huge. Like, bigger than huge. This just changed the world. Aliens are real. Yeah, and we're both being weirdly calm about it. Our brains are turning to mush, I tell you, mush. We've got to go home, return to normality. Come on, we're going. RuPaul and shortbreads await. Right, episode one is ready to start. Pizza's been ordered. I might put my pyjamas on, should I? Should I put my pyjamas on? Is it too early to put pyjamas on? Will the pizza delivery guy judge me if I put my pyjamas on? And I'm clearly talking to myself. Hello, Earth to Elizabeth. I'm sorry. I just can't stop thinking about what just happened. Don't remind me. I'm trying very hard here to make things as normal as possible. Don't ruin the moment. I'm surprised we were the only ones there. It's a Saturday. People are either hungover or at shopping centres. But we now know a criminal is on the loose. And a rhino thing is just out there. I mean, have we done the right thing? Just coming home and ignoring it? Is it right to see something fall out of the sky and think, hmm, I think we should go and check it out? No, it isn't. And yet, we did that, so we can do this too. What if it's all connected to those missing people? Why do you say that? Think about it. Nothing ever happens here. It's just ordinary. Then people go missing, then we hear about a criminal, then we see the officer hunting the criminal. I mean, it's all happening at once. There's got to be a connection. Or it's just... Dominic, if you say that it's all just a coincidence, I'm going to shove this TV remote where the sun doesn't shine. Wow. Well, the piece is here. It's probably best to drop the criminal and rhino talk from now on. Hello? Hello! Where's the pizza? And what are you wearing? Pizza. I was actually kind of hoping for a cup of tea. That would do the trick. Tea? Yeah, that's what I said. You're not deaf, are you? No. Well then, why are we having this conversation? You started it. Oh, no, I want pizza. Why'd you have to bring up pizza? Everything alright? Not really, no. 
I've been scanning the local area and I've come to the conclusion that there's an alien crash site not too far from here. Mind you, I could be a bit far out. It's still early days for this body. But I noticed your street near the woods and thought, Ooh, I want a cup of tea. Went to the nearest house and that's why I'm here, which isn't really the question you asked, is it? But if I'm being honest, asking, is everything alright is a bit, well, a bit vague, really. I'm rambling, aren't I? Just a bit, mate. Been a good night out, has it? Well, no, there's been a crash. Do either of you two listen? She's saying you're drunk. Drunk? What, drunk? No. Of course I'm not drunk. Why? Do I look it? I'm not 100% sure yet. You see, I haven't actually gotten around to seeing my face. The world always needs saving. I can never just have five minutes off. Do you have a mirror, maybe? Hang on. Wait. Stop, stop doing that. Both of you, stop it. Stop what? We're not doing anything. You are, you... You're going all sort of blue and blotchy. We are? Yeah. Actually, now all I can see is blue and blotchy. Elizabeth, I think he's going to... Yeah, he's going to faint. Catch him! <sighs> you didn't catch him. I'm sorry. I panicked. Come on, help me get him inside. You grab the legs, I'll get the arms. Inside? As in inside the house. Do I need to remind you there's an alien criminal on the loose? We can't just let any old weirdo into our house. Oh yes, Dom. You're right, aren't you? We'll just leave his body out in the cold for the pizza delivery person to find. Great idea. Why didn't I think of that? Fine. I'll grab his legs. There we go. Much more comfortable on the sofa. So, what are we supposed to do now? Thinking back to his rambles, he was talking sense. Was he? I zoned out. He mentioned the crash site. He knows about that rhino and the criminal, I think. Or he is the criminal and we just let him into our house. Maybe we should call the police now. Oh, now she wants to do things properly. Just dial. Oh, for goodness sake, it's like Clapham Junction in here. Don't be mad at Pete, Sir Elizabeth. It's the only thing that will bring me happiness right now. I'll get it. Hello, I'm so excited. What the hell are you doing here? Kroto detects alien activity within this vicinity. Here? Stand aside, puny human. Need a hand? Oh my god, it's you! The rhino thinks there are aliens here. Not rhino. Da -dum. Well, I think we would know if there were aliens in our house, don't you? Confidence levels. Questionable. Oh, for goodness sake. Fine. I'll make it sound more matter of fact, shall I? There aren't any aliens in this house. Step aside. Kroto will investigate. You're police, right? Surely that means you need a search warrant or something. Do you have one? <clears throat> exactly. Believe me, there are no aliens here. Look, we don't want to cause any trouble. But I Platoon. <gasps> Tom Tarrant, perverting the course of human history. <laughs> What's that smell? <laughs> Millionaire shortbreads? <laughs> no. A problem. It needs solving. So I am telling you. There are no aliens inside this house. I will call the police. Like, the actual real-life police. Mm. To a real police. Not on this street. Stand aside, humans. Hey! You can't do that. Hello, big fella. Big woman. Sorry. Humans lie to Kroto. No. No, we didn't lie. We just... What did we do, Dom? We, um, got momentarily confused. Just confused. Big, big difference. Hang on. What are you up to? I found these. Missing person posters in your bag. Not official posters, mind you. 
they have been missing for far too short a time for the police to be worried yet. I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of looking through them, intently trying to find a connection between them all. Also, I saw my face in the mirror on the wall. What do you think? I'm not mad about it. Oh my God, he's written on the floor, Elizabeth, the floor. Did you find a connection? Connection? No, it's, it's a brand new face. Oh, between the missing people? Well, as it currently stands, no. Oh. They're all a bit random, to be honest. One is a mum of three named Sharon, she seems nice. The other is a boy named Toby who's 14 and goes to secondary school. That girl there, Harper, she's a university dropout. Then there's Darren, he's a bin man, the most recent missing person. And then that brings us on to Whiskers. And she's just a cat. Oh, that last one must have got mixed up with it all. Well, there is one connection, actually, but it's a bit pointless and not really worth sharing. No, say, anything could help, right? Well, they all live in this town. Helpful. Even I could have told you that. Well, it is a little bit helpful when you think about it. The fact that Darren's poster is the most recent shows that the criminal that the Jadoon are after is still in the area. So the criminal did take them? But it's likely. What do you think? I think it did. This town is uneventful. Things like this don't exactly happen here. This is a bit alien. Well, there you go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Well, actually, they aren't. But you get the gist. Yeah, yeah, well done and all. But who are you, exactly? No idea. Completely new me. I'm being prepped. Probably like that pizza you ordered. You will be catalogued. Oh, right, yeah, you do. I'm gathering that was you that crashed today, then. You made my sonic screwdriver go mad. Energy signals left, right and centre. Scanning. Non-human. Wait, what? Who's non-human? Mickle registers as non-human. Hello. You are Julian Derange. You disguise yourself as human. You will be executed. Calm down, Hornface. Can't your scanner identify the species or planet of origin? No aliens on Earth. Only human. You will be executed. Just have a little check. Come on, wrinkled face. Work with me here. You'd be surprised. Scans detect. Time Lord. Oh, yeah. Julian Durang still not in Jadun custody. I must locate. Move. Okay, that rhino stresses me out. Anyone else? You're an alien. Depends on your point of view. To me, you're an alien. Yeah, yeah, cute and all, but please can you remove the writing on the wooden floor? Please. Oh, yeah, sorry. Just wanted to make sure my notes added up. There we go. Good as new. What the hell? You really are an alien, aren't you? Guilty. Speaking of which, what's Julian Derange? He's the guiltiest. Julian Derange is actually a little bit famous, or rather infamous. To my knowledge, he's prisoner number one, or one of the first ever taken into Jadoon custody. What is he? An entity. A creature of great and complex power. The Jadoon cells weaken the prisoner's powers, but even so, he's dangerous. Highly dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Several psychiatrists attempt to speak with Julian whilst he was in prison. All of them ended up in space asylums. Oh my god, why? Because that's how he works. You don't want someone like Julian Derange getting inside your head. Trust me. Well, this is cheery. He can twist and change reality into your worst nightmares. Then he feeds off the fear you automatically give to him. And you think he did that to those missing people? I hope not. But it's likely. So what do we do about it? Uh, nothing, Elizabeth. It's not our fight, right? I think it's everyone's fight. Planet Earth isn't safe. There's a brutal, trigger-happy rhino police hunting an entity that can turn even the most intellectual of brains into a pile of pudding. Innocent human lives will get caught in the middle of it. Great. Well, can we stop them? You seem keen. To save my planet, who wouldn't be? Me, maybe? What do we do? We... Have a cup of tea. Oh, I really want tea. I asked for tea when I first got here. My head's still a bit fuzzy and all over the place after the regeneration. Tea would work wonders. Whatever the hell any of that means. And... Maybe some millionaire shortbreads? Okay, now we're talking. Fine. First step in saving the world? Putting the kettle on.
right, three cups of tea. I'll grab some shortbread in a second. But then we really should start to think about a plan to save the planet from that alien thug, yeah? Oh my God, what happened? He fainted again. I don't know what's wrong with him. Well, I guess that's one and a half cups of tea for us too then. Oh, I was meant to say, I don't really fancy tea right now. Okay, that's three mugs of tea for myself. With this guy like this and the rhino guy just marching around in the woods, what's the plan? I don't have one. So, for now, I guess we'll just wait for the pizza. And I'll drink a lot of tea. All right, Croto. Looking for me? Remain still. You will be catalogued. Human. Well, at least I am in this form. I believe he was called Darren, a bin man. How pathetic. Identify. It's me, Croto. Julian Derange. Who else? You will be executed by order of the Shadow Proclamation. But is that really your job, Croto? Because I know your big secret. I can see inside your head. I know everybody's secrets. I know everything. You will be executed for your previous crimes and for escaping Jadun custody. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You do like the sound of your own voice, don't you? How about I bend reality and make your worst fears come to life? Or I could just kick you in the shins <clears throat> and snap off your horn <clears throat> and bend reality to place you in a containment vortex. I'm stronger now, Croto. Now I can absorb multiple fears at once. The humans are so easily frightened. Come and arrest me if you ever make it out of that containment vortex. Not that you ever will. Oh, Jaduni. I already have. Pizza's here. Right at the lip sync, what a monster. Maybe the pizza will wake this guy up. I hope it actually is the pizza this time, otherwise I'll scream. <laughs> Be right back. Hi. Pizza delivery. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Well, where is it then? Be careful, it's hot. What is? My face, it burns! Oh my god! Where the hell's the pizza? Get some shoes on, we're leaving. I'm sorry, what? Get your stuff together, we've got to get out. Wait, tell me what's going on. Something really freaky is at our door. It's not a rhino or a fainting man, it, it's worse. Just get your shoes, get your jacket, anything. We need to get out. Grab that guy by the legs, we're going. You want a quick getaway whilst carrying a strange man with you, are you for real? Yes, and so are they. What the hell? Get on the sofa, quickly! Where the hell did the spiders come from? Are they moving for weird advanced Oh, Dom, shut up! What the hell is happening? It's that prisoner, isn't it? That Julian bloke, he knows fears, right? But the prisoner isn't here, it's just the two of us and this guy. It's him. This guy is the prisoner. He's trying to make us insane. I knew it. I'm not so sure. These fears definitely have taken their time getting to us. That's because he wants the woman of surprise. We're gonna die. That's it. We're gonna die. Dom, look. What? Tell me that isn't what I think it is. That's a gravestone, Dom. With my name on it. We are going to die. Dom, that really isn't helpful. What are we gonna do? Well, I don't know. Well, start thinking. You have a brain too, Dominic. I'm panicking. Oh, well, that makes two of us. 
really doesn't help being stuck on the sofa with this guy taking up all the room. I mean, who the hell just turns up to a house demanding tea and then faints? I weirdly think he can help us. Where'd you get that idea from? Well, he's the only one who's made any sense out of all of this. I was kind of hoping he could help us. <gasps> ah! Ow. What'd you do that for? Dom, you punched him! Yeah, he scared me. Oh my god, are you okay? Huh. Never felt better. A bit of a hit to the head was probably just what I needed. Did someone ask for help? Because that's a word that I never refuse. Use your eyeballs. We're being attacked by spiders. Of course we ask for help. Oh wow. That is a lot of spiders, isn't it? They're beautiful. God, what planet do you come from? Not sure yet. Can't remember. Don't worry about the spiders. They're easy to do. Come on. Wow. That was easy. What did you just do? Well, actual spiders are much harder to get rid of, but these ones aren't really real. They're a design, thought of and created by none other than Julian Derange. The entity who can bend reality, remember? And, I don't know about you guys, but it's extremely uncomfortable with the three of us cramped on this sofa. Oh yeah. Let's stand. So, what now? We talk with the master manipulator. If this sort of thing is happening inside your house, then Julian Derange should be right outside. Hang on, did you just say talk to him? Why not? I love a good chinwag. You can't go out there and reason with him. You said you don't want someone like Julian Derange getting inside your head. And he won't, because I won't show any fear. That's the trick. Do yourself a favour. Don't follow me. You'll only endanger yourselves. Why do I get the awful feeling that you're going to follow him? Because he keeps fainting, Dom. I think he needs help. <sighs> Why do I have to be friends with you? Julian Derange, I presume. Interesting that you know my name. Who are you? Oh, I'm full of surprises. Answer me this, quick. Why does your face look familiar? Oh, this isn't my natural form. I wouldn't normally choose a body as simple as a human, but when you've crash-landed on Earth, there aren't many alternatives. Oh my god! He's one of the people from the missing persons posters. You're right. He's using Darren's form. Darren the bin man. Hang on. What are you doing here? I thought I said don't follow me. You did, and I wholeheartedly agree with you. Elizabeth, let's go back. You're not well. You need backup, whether you like it or not. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. Humans attempting to stop me. Whatever next. The missing people, where are they? Well, put simply, they've been reduced to dust. Once their full insanity kicks in, they can bust. Their pitiful human bodies and minds can't take it. I quite like it, if I'm honest. Means I don't have to clear up afterwards. I'm a bit funny about mess. So basically what you're saying is, they're dead. You can read between the lines, well done. Then I'm gonna have to stop you. Oh, tough man. If it makes you feel any better, please know that in your final moments on this planet, you impress me. Nice try. This won't be my final moment on this planet, because I'm going to... What's happening? Are you okay? Oh, I thought the punch around the face had helped, but it didn't. What do you mean? It's my body. It's, it's still recovering. It's, oh, it's not ready. It's not done yet. <sighs> what the hell is that stuff? Oh, it's regeneration energy. I'm almost done. I can... I can feel it, trust me, but so, so close. Impossible. Ha <laughs> ha, you're a Time Lord. Oh, I crash lane to Earth and I bump into the last of the Time Lords, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is going to be heavenly. What do you mean? Humans are like cattle. Your fears are all the same in the end. Scared of flying, scared of heights, scared of insects, blah, blah, blah. But a Time Lord, the fear of a Time Lord is extraordinary. Why? With that power, I could be a god. Okay, that doesn't sound good. I shall consume you, Time Lord, and this entire planet shall fall. Do we have a plan? Run! Are you able to? I, I think I've got it in me to catch up. Just run! Elizabeth, come on! Right behind you, let's go! Running away from something proves only one thing, children. You're afraid. Which way? Left.
Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I can't breathe. We've got to stop. We're in a junkyard. A dead end. Well, this was a smart direction. What made you say left? You live on this planet. You should have given me directions. Oh, I see. Shift the blame. Anyhow, I don't see this as a dead end. I don't think we're trapped. We can't go back the way we came. The junkyard has no exits. So, I'm out of options. Funny little human brains. You don't really take in your surroundings, do you? I think we can hide in here. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Nice and snug. You can't just hide in a wooden box. Uh, yes I can. Care to join? I don't know who is more insane, him or the alien criminal. Speak of the devil and you shall appear. Wooden box? Wooden box. Okay, we are doomed inside this thing. I think we'll last longer in here than out there. Oh yeah, because a wooden door is really going to hold him back, isn't it, Elizabeth? Well, I think I can lock it. So, you're welcome. Can we call the police now? Yes, I'll call them. Where'd that guy get to? Oh, what the hell? Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Tom, you made me type my password in wrong. Elizabeth, look. We are definitely dreaming, right? This thing is... That's impossible. It's bigger on the inside. Very observant. What is this place? Welcome to the TARDIS. That's T-A-R-D-I-S. It stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. And right now, it's probably the perfect place to hide from Julian Derange. He might think he can get through those doors, but believe me, he can't. Those doors have held back the assembled hordes of Genghis Khan, the apes on Tauran Battle Fleet, and Queen Elizabeth I. This place is huge. How do you do it? Optical illusion. Must be. Come over to the console here, but don't touch anything. You might accidentally cause a time loop or something. But here on the scanner, that's Julian Derange right outside those doors. So he really can't get through wooden doors. <laughs> what a loser. But last time back at home, Julian can manipulate our fears from outside. Can't he do that in here too? The TARDIS is telepathic just as much as Julian Derange likes to think he is. Whatever he attempts, the TARDIS will cancel out. Good job locking the door. If he did get inside the TARDIS, it wouldn't end well. What's that? Company. The Jadoon is on Julian's case. About time. Well, that's job done really, isn't it? That's what we want, right? The Rhino guy to arrest him or kill him, whatever works. I'm not sure it's that simple. The Shadow Proclamation spent years trying to arrest Julian. He's a hard entity to pin down. The Jadoon don't really care who gets in the way. I told you, a dangerous battle between a Jadoon and an entity could kick off, with innocent lives caught up in the middle. This is the complete opposite of what we want. So what do we do? Just wait. Surely Julian will start dealing with the Rhino's fear eventually, and then, while he's distracted, we can stop him. He'll toy with Croto. Probably already has. But it's a waste of Julian's time to try and find her fears. The Jadoon are too simple. There isn't enough room in their brains to be completely afraid of something. That's why they make such good police. So back to my question then. What do we do? We stop a war. So did we just come inside this box that isn't a box to hide, only to go back out into the junkyard again? Yeah. Funny how plans change. I tell you two to stay inside and stay safe, but that went really well last time, didn't it? So do what you want. I'm going to try and reason with them. Surely there's a better way to stop them with just... words. <laughs> That's your first mistake, Dominic. Words win wars. Well, was that a way to escape then, Croto? Containment field was mirage, not real. You will not escape. Evening all. Sorry for the interruption. Lovely night, isn't it? So many stars in the sky. I like it like this, don't you? I can't believe we're doing this. Stand aside. Julian Derange must be executed. You fire that gun, and you're just hitting the form he's taken. Julian will just float off as atoms in the air. You're dealing with a serious criminal here. Why, thank you. Yeah, don't get on your high horse. 
You both need to leave Earth. Now. I'll even take you in the TARDIS to some remote planet where you can fight to the death if you really want to. But seriously, there are innocent lives here. If you two are going to play a game of cat and mouse, then people are going to get hurt. I won't allow that. Continue this game, and you both become my enemy. So what do you suggest, Time Lord? I suggest you give yourself up, Julian. Go back to prison quietly. Not the worst life. You get heating in your cell. They give you free food. And you don't have to put up with anyone else. I can think of worse things. I want your fear. Yeah, and sometimes I want to go surfing across the acid pools of Castro 5. And then I think, hmm, better not. You are wasting time, Time Lord. I'm good at that. I'm perfect for a distraction. If you ever need one, call me. You waste to do time. You will both be executed. Ah, here she goes. Big old Croto the Jadoon attempting to regain her authority. But you lost that the minute you came to Earth. This is a level 5 planet. What do you think you're doing? You can't just arrive unannounced and start parading around like you own the place. I mean, I do all the time, but I don't exactly have a boss to answer to. I thought you'd take us to the moon or something. What's, what's the matter? Budget cuts? Desperate times. Desperate measures. Not how it works, mate. And we both know it. you got some strict rules to follow. And as far as I'm aware, you aren't following them. Um, Doctor? Not now. Busy. But it's Elizabeth, Doctor. And Julian. They've gone. What? Where'd they go? Well, I don't know. I'm really good at distraction, so much so I distracted myself. We're going to find her, right? We are going to find her, right? It's thanks to her that you're strong enough to be standing. She was the one persistent enough to help you. And now what, you just give up? I don't know where he's taken her. Well then find out! Or you? Aren't you supposed to be tracking Julian or something? Use your equipment, find them! Come on, the pair of you working together, like, surely that's enough to... He's a hard man to find, Don. It's not him I'm worried about. Bring her back. Please. Another word I never refuse. You're right. Got to try something. You two, inside that box. It's time for a search party. Where am I? A graveyard. But I was... That gravestone has my name on it. And that one. And that one. What the hell is this place? It's just a graveyard. I modified it. Now it's filled with graves of you. Why? It's astonishing what I can do now my powers are increasing. Snatching you away will ignite fear into the hearts of your friends. I can taste it already. But why me? Your fear surrounds you, a fear of death. Everyone has a fear of death, don't they? Not like yours. You fear death deeper because you've experienced what it's like to be left behind. Your mother? Shut up. Knowing how it felt when you lost her is too much. The thought of leaving your loved ones behind is something you think of more than most your age. But it's still greater than that. It's how you lost your mother. An event in your personal history that you know so little about. You want answers. You demand them. You crave them. Get out of my head! And you have the slightest glimmer of hope that the Time Lord can help you find the answers. Just get out of my head! There's an easy way. Just give in. Let me take your fear. Your insanity will grind your body into dust. Then, poof, it's all over. If I'm scared of dying, why would I let you kill me? There aren't many alternatives, love. Look around you, lost in a graveyard, surrounded by nothing but your fate set in stone. Leave me alone. Your heart rate has increased. Your fear is building. I can, oh, taste it. Please just let me go. Why should I? Because... Go on. Because... Say it. Because I'm scared. Oh, oh yes. 
confirmation. Now I can consume you. Then the Time Lord will come running and I shall consume his fears. Then this entire universe shall soon turn to dust at my hand. Julian. Just had a little change on the way over here. Thought I'd dress for the occasion. I think this is a bit more me. What do you think? Not so talkative now. Did I come earlier than planned? Didn't expect me so soon? Elizabeth, are you okay? I am now. Just about. How did you get here? Well, before I changed, we went back to your place. I had the tea you made. It was a bit cold by the time we got back, but boy did it work a treat. And that millionaire shortbread. Outstanding. Exactly what I needed to get my circuits working again. I'm fully cooked and raring to go. But how did you find me? The tea. Like I said. Luckily for you, you'd already taken a few sips of your tea, meaning your DNA was on the mug. I was able to use the TARDIS and the DNA from the mug to pinpoint your exact location and follow it. I am good after a cup. I will take your fear, Time Lord. No, you really won't. Because now I know exactly who I am. Now I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey. I do what I can, when I can. And now I know that, there is no stopping me. You will fear me! Elizabeth? Yes? Today I can prove one thing, and one thing only. I know how to find you. Whenever you need me to. No matter how hard, no matter how far, the TARDIS and I can always find you. Never be afraid. I'm not. Ah. <sighs> Sorry, what was that, Julian? Nothing, you fool. I... You were... what? Sorry? You ridiculous oaf. I will kill you. Try it. No one here is afraid. Not a single soul. Elizabeth, are you scared of Julian Derange? No. Tom, are you scared of Julian Derange? Uh, no, I don't exactly want to be. Croto, are you afraid of Julian Derange? Negative. Oh, what have you done? We've cracked the code, Julian. You can't feast on people's fears when people aren't scared anymore. Because that's exactly what you don't want. You shouldn't have this strength. You couldn't. What's wrong, Julian? Are you scared? I shall return, Doctor. You haven't seen the last of me. Yeah, yeah, I get that. No! 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 no. You never said he'd explode. What actually happened? We stopped him from getting what he wanted. Essentially refusing to give food to someone who is starving. We cut off what he needed. So did we murder him? I mean, dwell on that if you want to, Dominic, but we also saved your entire planet from being consumed by him and giving him the powers of a god. We may have saved the entire universe. Try and give us some brownie points, yeah? Can we leave, please? Although this graveyard is back to normal, it's still giving me the creeps. Excellent point. Right, you lot, into the box. Let's get you all home. Oh, back at the crash site, I wanted to go home. Croto first. Return trip impossible. Tadoon cruiser is damaged. Oh, is your ship broken? Probably should have piloted it better then. You refuse to help. I mean, sort of. You shouldn't be here, Croto. Earth isn't a planet that Jadoon can just land on willy-nilly, crashed or not. What you're doing right now is illegal to the Shadow Proclamation. Do they know you're here? You will be executed. Do they know you're here, Croto? Mm, negative. Shadow Proclamation is unaware. Then tell us. Why are you here? I lost job. Croto no longer works for Shadow Proclamation. What did you do? Falsely accused royal blood on the planet Carvin. 
You see, that's why the Jadoon need to think less with their trigger finger and more with their brains. What's wrong with you lot? So why are you here? Groto arrested Julian. Julian Derange escaped, I heard. Must hunt. I see. So all this is just to make sure your legacy holds up. Well, that's all I needed to hear. I'm sorry to say this, but that's against the rules, and you know it. Oh, it's starting to rain. They said it was going to be sunny all day. Hang on. Why is it only raining on the rhino? You know what this is, don't you, Crote? You've broken the law. I may have made a cheeky call to your old boss. There's an empty cell back home, and I think it's got your name on it. You betrayed me. I've got no loyalties to you. Especially since you didn't think, not for a moment, how much danger you were putting people in on this planet. Anyone could have got hurt. Did you learn nothing from getting fired? So do me a favour, yeah? Spread the word. Amongst the prison, tell all the criminals, all the workers, all the officials you see, planet Earth is protected. Is the rain meant to do that? Hang on. It's going up. The rain is going up. No! 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 The rain stopped. Where'd the rhino go? That was ex-Captain Croto being taken by the Shadow Proclamation for breaking the law. That ought to teach her a lesson. Right, you two. Home? Home. How do you get used to a place like this? It's madness. Still makes me smile even now. Right, open those doors and you're back in your living room. Back to normal life, doing whatever it is you do. Eat chips, have tea, watch Netflix, all of that. The accuracy. Oh, thank God. I never thought I'd be this happy to see my living room in the exact same messy state that I left it in. Oh. Right. Well, thanks for your help today. Seriously, both of you helped out more than you realise. The fact that you both stood up to Julian was amazing. And you also cared for me when I needed it. And a cup of tea and the millionaire shortbread? Perfection. Thank you. Thank you, too. You know, for coming to get me. Well, thanks for working most of it out for me. Collecting those missing person posters was a stroke of genius. You don't miss a trick, do you, Elizabeth? <laughs> I like to think I don't. Anyway, bye then. Doctor? Hmm? What do you do now? Like, where do you go? Me? Well, I... I go anywhere. Anywhere? This box, it, it can travel in space. Space? It can also travel in time. I mean, essentially, it can go anywhere and do anything and still bring people home in time for tea. It... it travels in time. Yeah, it does. And today, was that a normal day for you? I mean, I was a bit more useless than normal, as I wasn't quite with it. That tea did me the world of good. From now on, there's no stopping me. Do you want to come with? What do you mean? Travel with me. Both of you. I can show you everything, from the dawn of time to its end, and everything in between. As a thank you, I could show you the stars. Travel the stars on your ship that's made of wood? Nah, you're alright mate. Can't be dealing with another day like today. Oh. Uh, not, not the answer I was expecting. Uh, and you? I... Elizabeth, come on. We almost died. Would you mind just giving us a minute? Sure. I've got time. You can't be serious, Elizabeth. It'll be dangerous. Besides, you hardly know the guy. But why not? It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Elizabeth, we met a talking rhino and were almost killed in a graveyard. He might know about my mum. Oh. I mean, even if he doesn't, his machine could take me there. Maybe. I can finally get answers I've always wanted. The answers I've always needed. You've had this thought the moment he mentioned time travel, right? Right. I hope you know what you're doing. Never do. I hope there's room for one more in that box. Oh, don't be silly. You saw how big it was in there. Only if you're sure. As sure as I'll ever be. Well then, what are we waiting for? You'd best not forget me, Elizabeth. I'm not kidding. It's a time machine, remember? 
be back before you know it. Fine. Look after her. Cross my heart. Good. Hang on, did you just say hearts? As in plural? <laughs> Tom! I'll see you later. Okay, Elizabeth... No, what's your surname? Baker. Elizabeth Baker. <laughs> You're kidding. Elizabeth Baker the Baker. Welcome aboard the TARDIS, Elizabeth Baker the Baker. It's your choice. You can go wherever you like, backwards or forwards in time. <laughs> Big decision. I know. No pressure, but make it count. Well, that helps. If it helps, I think wherever you decide it will be outstanding. Well, in that case, I think we should go... Yeah.